A very, a very good morning to everyone. Welcome to the information session on Enhanced Recording Study. My name is Go. Being an ACCA member myself, having taught ACCA courses for the last 26 years, having a daughter who is currently pursuing ICNW, two nephews who are currently pursuing ACCA in Summit College, I believe I am able to provide some insight into what the professional accounting courses are. There are four questions that I've actually prepared to enlighten uh, you all. Number one, are, are, are professional accounting courses difficult? Number two, are they future for professional uh, accounting students? Number three, what have professional accounting body like ACCA done in light of the uh, emergence of artificial intelligence, machine, uh, machine learning and robotics? Number four, which pathway is better? From ICCSD, go to pre u go to degree, and then come back to professional uh, accounting courses, or go straight from ICCSD, uh, straight away to uh, FIA, uh, which is conducted by ACCA, or CFAP under the ICCSD. Going to the first question, are uh, professional accounting courses difficult? If the word parcel rate is an indication, I must admit that it's extremely difficult. The average parcel rate for our skill module hover around 40 to 50 percent, which means half of the class they are going to fail the exam. If you look at the strategic professional level, like the two papers that I'm currently teaching, strategic business leader and advanced audit insurance. The passing rate can go down to as low as 28-29%. We are talking about world passing rate. When I first started studying ECCA in the late 1980s, I was made to understand that you need to be a genius, if not God sent, to be able to pass ECCA. But having passed this course myself and having been teaching this paper for so long, I come to a conclusion that there are three very important criteria that will determine the success of the uh, student pursuit in this particular journey. Number one, they must have a book average command of the English language. The student must first understand what the question requirements are, and they must be able to express uh, what they taught using the information in the scenario. Because the marker, they are native speaker. If they don't understand what you have written, how are they going to avoid your marks? That's why you notice that among our students, there are not many students who are from Chinese independent school. Chinese independent school students are very smart, but they won't be able to express themselves in the English language. So they know that I can speak Mandarin, so a lot of them actually explain to me their answer. Their answer is good, but, when they try, uh, but the problem is that they think in Mandarin and then they translate into English. So the meaning somehow actually debated. So, after repeated failure, they decided to give up. We don't have many uh, bright Chinese independent school students pursuing ACCA. Number two, important criteria, they must be analytical. Okay, talking about the language, like I share with some of the, uh, the school representatives, this is where I believe that IGC SC students, they actually have an advantage. Because generally speaking, the IGC SC students have a better command of the language than our national school students. And so quite not surprising, we do have a fair number of the students who are actually completed the O level or some of them A level who actually join us in ACCA or ICW. Number two criteria, the student must be analytical. Our questions are never based on testing of student knowledge. So they cannot be a good learner and hope to uh, memorize the answer and then read the cheat time in the exam. Our exam give you a case study, like for strategic business leader, they give you a 14 pages case study. All the questions are answered using the same case study. The student in the four hour exam must read the information, must digest the information and know what information to extract in answering the question asked. Not many students, okay, they are able to do that. Especially if they are the product of national school who are so used to be memorizing things. So they can be a victim of the system. Number three, the student 
must be prepared not to sleep more than six hours a day. I often told them that anyone during the semester on break, right, if they are still sleeping more than six hours, they really don't fit to become an HCC student. I told them that when I was a student, I invested in a bottle of weeks. I was actually studying HCC part-time basis. I'm pursuing my HCC study and also at the same time give tuition. So I go to sleep, let's say at 10 uh, uh, p.m. I wake up five hours later, five hours later. So to keep myself awake, I will rub wigs uh, on my eye, so that right when the tear come out, you can actually stay awake for uh, for a good one hour. Feel sleepy again, rub again. Okay, I did it for four years, but it did not destroy, damage my eyesight, so I can see them very clearly. So I told them that you must have the flame burning in you. I want to uh, to be an for forever. Then but uh, going back to the second question, are there futures for accounting students? Prior to attending today's session, many of you must have attended courses regarding the fourth industrial revolution. And the speaker would have told you that uh, that uh, the emergence of all this AI, uh, the machine learning, they will actually remove some of the job and top the list without fail accounting. With due respect to the speaker, I regret to say that they don't understand our profession. They don't know the difference between a bookkeeper who are usually LCCI diploma holder, degree student, as well as professionally qualified students. If you are telling about uh, bookkeeping, I totally agree with the speaker. Today, with the accounting software making, uh, uh, being made so affordable, they are so user friendly. Even the smaller size company, they can afford to buy like my own business accounting software. Even if you do not know about accounting, they are able uh, because it's so user friendly. They just uh, um, religiously manually key in the data and they can churn out a self financial statement. But let me remind you, this is not what ACC or ICW produce a graduate. We produce graduate that are finance business a uh, partner. We actually no longer sit in the back room churning up the financial demand. This can all be done by the accounting software. We add value to our data. With the many data that come through the finance department, we actually analyze them. We generate useful information to help our colleague in the sales department, in the procurement department to make important decisions. Like for instance, I came from my revision class. We were doing questions that should the company, which direction should the company be growing? Should they actually penetrate the existing market uh, deeper, known as a uh, market penetration? Or should they actually venture into a new market, so-called the blue ocean, instead of competing in the red ocean, whereby it's already very crowded? Or should they consider increasing the product range? Or should they venture into unrelated uh, business? Our students look at the scenario of a company, they are required to know, should they actually uh, expand the company uh, internally, known as organic growth? Or should they actually, if they are ambitious, should they actually acquire another company that allow the company to grow faster? Or should they actually form partnership with another company? All these are high value stuff that I do not think your AI, uh, at this point in time, they are capable of doing. If you have the experience of using the online chat uh, function of AAsia, you know that you are dealing with a robot called Eva. You have to ask questions that are very standard one. Right? You ask a question that don't have certain keyword, they will tell you that, sorry, can you please rephrase, I don't understand the question. You think your AI can do this kind of job that our graduate are doing. So therefore, please do not worry about not having job. I told many parents that I'm actually not worried about their children not having a job. I'm not worried about can your children pass exam to be uh, to be rude. Okay, I basically told them that I'm not worried about can they pass the exam within the expected time frame of three to four years. I was sharing with some of the representative that Malaysia aspired to become a developed nation by two zero two zero. We need to have 60,000 qualified accountants. To be a qualified accountant means they must be a member of Malaysia Institute of Accountants. Secondly, 
After independent for 65 years, today our numbers to add around 30, uh, 37,900, less than 40,000. And out of this total number, many of them, they are not in the country. They, have, they were attracted by the high uh, the exchange rate uh, going to Singapore, which is the nearest. And also today, because we, we are embracing international economic standing, which makes our graduate right geographically very mobile. They don't need to work in Malaysia. They can work in 120 world countries that are members of international federation of them. And furthermore, ACCA is recognized in 179 countries in the world. So you can imagine, with this qualification, our students can go to any country that they actually wanted. And also another thing that a lot of parents or possibly other school representatives do not know is that your idea of accountancy qualification are restricted to only financial accounting and auditing. Therefore, the issue about no work-life balance actually uh, uh, will grow up. Who told you that? Uh, as an accountancy graduate, you can give us an auditor. Do you know that every subject that we study in ACCA, for example, is a profession itself. Like we study tax, today you can become a tax consultant. We study management accounting, you can become a management consultant. You study, we study audit, you can become external auditor. We also study internal audit. There's also a profession called internal auditor. Our graduate can become investor relations, because today emphasis on corporate governance. Our syllabus emphasize on corporate governance, how do you uh, liaise with the shareholder? Being a finance professional, we speak the language of uh, the business. So we can actually be uh, an effective investor relation manager. We can also be a risk manager to enable that our organization, they are able to take risk already. These are all the available jobs that uh, 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 an accountancy graduate, they can actually explore. Not the traditional financial accountant, not the traditional audit. So they need to think beyond the box. This uh, basically the opportunity is actually abundance. And also the other thing is that being uh, being um, the uh, the acute shortage of the professional accountant in the country can be seen from the fact that the big four international accounting firm, private house Cooper, KPMG, Deloitte, uh, Ernst and Young, they have last year increased the entrance salary for fresh graduate to 4,000 ringgit. Tell me, which other profession, not the doctor, not the lawyer, not the engineer, have a starting salary of 4,000? Some group sent us email, wanted us to recommend someone who can become finance manager. That person only need to work until confirmation, six months. My commission is 5,000 ringgit. Because they say they couldn't find finance manager in the market. So contrary to what the uh, public thought that, oh, this profession is dying, it's a sunset industry. The true fact is that we are facing a shortage. The third question. What have professional accounting body done in light of this development? ACCA, for example, I speak for ACCA because uh, I myself is uh, an uh, ACCA member and I teach ACCA. We start making our question very much uh, practical. That's why our graduate right today they finish ACCA become a uh, uh, completed our study. Tomorrow they can become assimilate into the job market. Because what they saw in the case study and what they will face in the real world, they are the same. Number two thing. Today in our strategic professional level, the final level, which is included the master level. Out of the 100 marks exam, 80 marks will test a student or technical mark, which means can be started. The other 30 marks are, are the professional skill mark that tested our student five important skills. These five skills are the result of very extensive consultation between ACCA and the captain of the industry and also the international coming firm. One skill is analysis. Our students are, are given 40 pages as I told you, case study, they have to analyze this information, they have to filter out those irrelevant information and extract those that are relevant to answer the question. Do they have disability? Number two, evaluation skill. 
in making a decision, should the company expand internally, slow and steady, or should they acquire another existing business so that I can expand faster? They must be very pros and cons. You think your AI at this point in time can do that? I doubt so. Number three, skepticism. In the advanced audit and insurance paper, for example, examples will create a scenario that transaction they are traditionally being approved by finance manager. But when you audit this company, you saw that hey, there were transactions being approved by finance director, more senior person than finance manager. Our students are expected that. Because the more senior person, they are made to approve something that normally done by a junior level person, you must have the skeptical mindset is that this is a case of management overriding control. The finance director tried to put up his or her signature so that no one will challenge him. It's the case of fraud potential. You think the AI can do that? I doubt so. The, uh, the Fox scale, commercial acumen. Based on the information given in the scenario, you must use the information to answer something relating to the, uh, to the company. Like, for example, if the company wanted to expand overseas, but based on the balance sheet, you notice that this company do not have much money in the bank or on hand, and you calculate the gearing, you notice that this company is having a very high percentage of loan borrowing. You must be able to apply to a scenario that, hey, in this case, in the context of this company, they will not be able to get further loan. And therefore, the chances of they able to uh, acquire another company will be low. Using the information given in the scenario. Last but not the least, communication. Our student, in their answer, it must be convincing, it must be clear, it must be concise to what the question is asking. In ACCA, they introduce a professional schedule, 20 marks. Student, no need to study. But in your answer, you must show that you have this scale that your employer they are looking for. The, uh, the four questions. Which, uh, which particular pathway is better? IGCSE, pre-U, degree, then come back to uh, professional courses. Malaysia, just now I will show you some of the school. Malaysia, uh, Malaysia do not recognize foreign degree, foreign university degree. In order to become a member of MIA, there are altogether three routes. Number one, local university. And in fact, not all the local university, only the more established public university, they can gain admission to become a MIA member. For those uh, students who are graduate from overseas, they have two choices. One choice is that they go for the courses uh, administered by UITM. There are three people that they have to pass. But most students, they don't go for this because they see this as a restricted passport. It's local. They will prefer to go for professional uh, qualification, which is the case. Uh, every weekend, we have the big four accounting firm sending their students who are uh, returning overseas graduate to sit for ECCA uh, weekend study. So uh, there's, uh, there's an option, uh, which route that uh, it, uh, you can choose. If you are someone, number one, who make up the mind that I'm going to uh, accounting is my quality, then you go to uh, uh, FIA or CPAP. But it's only advisable for those who make up their mind because there's no good effect. It's different compared to you go to A level, you go to MAFI, you go to OSMAT. When suddenly you realize that when you become older, you realize that hey, accounting is not my cup of tea. You can still go back to, you can go to other uh, areas. But you go to FIA, you go to CFAC, they only prepare you for accounting study. If you decided to pull out, you wasted the one year or one half year there. So going straight to uh, FIA, going straight to CFAC is only advisable for those who are very certain. That is what uh, I wanted to do. And of course, number two is that we need to ask ourselves, are we the materials of ACCA? That means, are you someone that fulfilled the three criteria? Number one, do you have a reasonable command of the language? Are you someone who can analyze? And of course, 
it's our job uh, as the uh, lecturer to teach our student to the many questions we do how to become an applicant. And the truth is that our student need to be really hardworking. So you have this particular criteria, then uh, in this case, you can also uh, go straight to FIA or CFAP. The, the, the reason is because going through the pre U and then the degree, there's a safety net. At least the student will end up having a degree because the, uh, the passing rate for degree, I would say 99% of the graduate, right, they will end up passing after the three to four years. But the same couldn't be said for ACC or ICW. Okay, so they urge if, if safety net is something that is actually important, then we should uh, encourage our student to go for the PU, then a uh, degree, then subsequently come back and do the last four paper. Because with the degree from a recognized university, they will have exemption for the first nine paper. But in terms of duration, it will be longer. Because for the PU, it will be one year, degree three years, and then with the four remaining paper, there will be another one year. So one plus three plus one, five years. Our student, every student, will take about three to four years to complete a ACCA study. So when they come in with IGC or like, uh, uh, IGCSE, yeah, at the age of I think 17, plus another three to four years, you can actually aspire to complete your study at the young age of 21 years old. With 10 years of working experience, I always tell them, the work literally is under your feet. With qualification that is internationally recognized, with the experience, basically, you command. You command uh, what are the salary, what kind of job that you actually want. Okay? So these are the four areas that uh, I, I believe uh, will be of uh, interest uh, to you all. Is there any questions that uh, in addition to what I said just now, that uh, you will want me to enlighten you. Are you a student, right? Is it okay? Are, are you currently doing a uh, accounting study? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, which is uh, the other alumni? Oh, currently doing. Currently, okay. Okay, our students. Okay. I'll hand over the mic to uh, my colleague.